do 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 Joe with Mr. Greg! Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you a cool trick that uh, I call a color ripple. You can see on this I divided my paper into two different sections and then I drew something and then rippled lines out from it. On this one I did flowers and rippled the lines out. Instead of dividing it into two, I divided it into four. And with this one here, I did hearts and divided my paper into six. Very easy to do and lots of fun to color. Let's get started. Before I get started on the art project, I did want to show you how they turn out. I mean, the color is just going to make your artwork come to life. And since it's such a simple little project, spending some time and coloring it in neatly is going to be so beneficial and you'll be just so proud of the way yours turns out. Okay, let's get to the video. To start one of these, I would decide if I'm going to divide my paper, whether it is into two sections like this, or four sections like this, or even six sections by putting two lines right here. Now, I'm going to decide which kind of a shape I want, and then I'm going to start adding my ripples. A simple circle is very easy to ripple out. I'm going to do circles for mine. You can do whatever shape you would like. After you have your shapes, then it's time to add details. I'm going to make this one a cute emoji. So maybe I do different emojis for each one, each face. But for this, since it's a how-to, you guys can decide what you want yours to look like. <laughs> kind of cute. I think I'm going to give this guy a little tongue. <laughs> Pretty neat so far. Now, here's the fun part, the ripples. And if you don't want to make all of your ripples perfect circles, if you're following along with what I'm doing, you can make your ripples kind of wavy if you want. Eventually, by the time I get to the edges, I will most likely start rippling a little. Here they go. They're starting to get a little bit wobbly. And that's okay. Just make sure you stop when you get to the edge. You don't want to cross over the line. So you can see I'm stopping. And like I said, that'll be so much fun to color. Later on, I'll uh, show you how it turns out when I add color to it. Now, earlier I showed you how I did hearts and flowers and even fish for my buddy Bob, since he's a fisherman and he loves watching my videos. So if you're watching this one, Hello, Bob. I know you're out there fishing somewhere, and I added a fish to my artwork just for you, buddy. <laughs> All right, so I'm moving on to finishing this one up, and I'm going to stop the video and then get out some crayons to add some color. Now, you might have noticed I made a mistake right there. My line kind of got big. You can fix those types of mistakes really easy just by smoothing it out. And sometimes mistakes turn into things that, uh, you know, like you didn't expect them. So now I kind of like those thick lines. I might go add other thick lines somewhere else so that it doesn't look like a mistake. I always tell my students, uh, make a mistake look like an on purpose. Instead of saying, oh, no, I have to start over, just figure out a smart way to fix your mistake and make it look like you did it on purpose. Okay, I'm ready to go ahead and add some color. See you on the next video.